I know it's been like 11 months. I, I have no idea how long ago I posted my last video, but I just know it's been a long time ago and I'm very sorry for that. But um, here is sketchbook number eight, the one I keep on talking about. So um, yeah, we're gonna get, look through it. So basically, um, here's the front cover. Um, one of the letters fell off. It's a sketchbook. I'm gonna call it the sketchbook tour for now on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're gonna see like the title of this video is going to be sketchbook tour. So um, anyways, um, I have some Hello Kitty stickers. I got Hello Kitty right here, and this is number eight. If you guys would find it interesting to see my old sketchbook, because I have like literally five other sketchbooks I can show here, I I would love to make a video on it. And also, I have these stars from my algebra two teacher. She is absolutely amazing. She gave me those stars because I would behave well in class. And so I would always keep them. I would put them on my sketchbook. Um, so I just have a bunch of like Spotify stickers. So here's um, this is I'm pretty sure this is "Good Girls Don't Get Used" by Beach Bunny. This is um a Millie song. I forgot which one, but I know it's from Millie. And this is "Love Like You" from Steven Universe. <laughs> Obviously, I have a little sticky note here. I'm not gonna open it because it has my personal information in case it gets lost. Please do not go to through the sketchbook unless I have given you consent to do, sto do so. Thank you. I finished this in May 29th of 2023. This is, it's currently like June 22nd today at the point I'm filming this. So I finished this like about last month ago and it took me 11 months and 19 days. And obviously I have some I have Tamaki and Moni Senpai and Luca as well. I love these stickers, they're so cute. Oh, oh I'm pretty sure this is Painkiller. I'm pretty sure. Don't count me on it. It might it might not be Painkiller. Um, here's another Millie song that I really like. It's a, called Slideshow Duckling. I really it's a good song. I recommend listening to it. Obviously, given that I I cannot stop listening listening to the Given soundtrack. It's so good. Like I feel like movie soundtracks always has the best music, and it's always on my Spotify playlist. Obviously, I got some Lady Gaga and Marina and the Diamonds, and here's some cotton cotton warnings. There's blood, but it's not graphic, so it's not like any, I don't draw gore. So obviously, there will be cursing in this book, and I might even curse in the video because. I have no filter and there's also nudity but it's non-sexual it's just mainly artistic nudity so if you have any issues with that the video just cut out of out of nowhere but i still want to keep the original intro so let's continue on <laughs> oh my god okay so this is ambrose evermore you've probably seen him on the cover of my um, last sketchbook and so basically um this is what he looks like uh, let me just move the camera a little bit so you can see a little better so this is what he looks like. I drew this in Procreate and I just glued it in here. I really, this is really old, <laughs> but I like, I, I think Ambrose is absolutely adorable. He's so cute. I love him. He's just, um, so basically it says that he's a 21 year old witch, currently a student at Arcelia Academy of Magic and Arts. His father is the head mage of the school, resides in the Northwest corner tower of the academy, and he's an all sweet student. And all else would say, an all a student, the big sweet dork. He's kind of a student, I guess. And he's about five foot five. Honestly, I don't think he's five foot five. I think he's more of like five foot three, but it's okay. But this is like old, so I wouldn't really consider it the most. Current worries trying to live up to the expectations of his father. And you have some Miku stickers. That's definitely true. 100%. Current worry. Um, like I said, we have some. I just, yeah, we have that. Um, here's like, um, I did this. I'm pretty sure I did this on July 15th of 2022. So here's like, you know, um, this is like basically this translates to um, a dead skeleton witch. That's what it translates to in English. And paint me like one of your French ladies. <laughs> um. This is supposed to be me, but obviously this is when I still had my bad haircut. My hair has grown out a lot. I finally have even bangs. Before, half of my bangs were really uneven because of the way I cut it at three in the morning. 
so <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um this is like supposed to be a drawing of my elo sketchbook by the way and by the way the elo sketchbook has like cold pressed paper so it's like meant for alcohol markers and for like inks i like using watercolors for my works so i feel like the sketchbook hasn't really been that great for me and i was struggling with the paper because i love textured paper but at the same time i also kind of like this paper it's like i have mixed feelings about this um this is mademoiselle helen she's not an actual teacher at the academy i just drew her because i wanted to um july 15 2022 it's Phil! Oh my god. Um, so here's Phil Sconehite. He's from Toy Stick Wonderland. And he's literally one of my favorite characters from that game. Like, oh my god. Um, you have Rook in the corner, like a quick doodle of him. And you will literally see this on my um, banner for my YouTube account. How it's just like this spread. You just see it. <laughs> you see like the whole spread, put metaphor for supremacy. Um, here's Apple. I kind of redid him. He he looks like he has a lot of eyeliner on. I I feel like I want to hear Apple curse in a country accent. I feel like that would match his character. I, I want to see that happen, okay? Why the puzzle? I, I cannot speak French. Why the puzzle? You are absolutely magnificent. Um, I, I speak Spanish, not French. So um, I'm sorry. That was horrible, I guess. <laughs> and it's just me talking about me being obsessed with gacha games, which I still am. I, I play Obey Me and Twisted Wonderland religiously. So, um, oh my god, my friend gave me a bunch of tea cold water teas to try. I've never had cold water tea before. They were so delicious. And I recommend adding like a bit of hibiscus syrup to them because they just, it gives it more flavor. But these were delicious. I feel like my favorite would probably be um, I, the blackberry raspberry hibiscus. I am a hibiscus lover. My least favorite would probably be the watermelon cucumber because I'm not a big fan of watermelon or cucumber teas, so. I drew Apple again, and I, you're gonna see a lot of tea collection, and I will tell you about every single tea. Cause I feel like this year, I, I used to drink a lot of coffee, but now I just drink a lot of tea. <laughs> I'm Surprisingly, I didn't have um, tea today. I had um, a latte that I made myself for breakfast. Oh, this is the same friend who bought me all those teas. Also did, did this page, and I love your art. It's so pretty. Um, here's Taylor Moon and some gum wrappers. I know this, my friend, like, they don't really like it, but I think your drawings are so cute. And I'm so glad that I have it. And I drew um, this person right here. Let me just open. This was supposed to be another About Me page, like Meet the Artist, but I covered it up because I just did not like it. I'm pretty sure this is like my cat. He was like in a loaf and I want to draw him. I did this in algebra 2 hey girly <laughs> um i was i found someone on pinterest and i just wanted to draw them because i thought their body looked pretty and i wanted to like draw more realistic bodies because i feel like we don't really see that much i noticed in my own art i don't even draw like my own body realistically when i draw myself so i want to change that i want to try to show more of my imperfections you know um, here's Ambrose. He's always looking cool. And uh, this is um a doodle from ninth grade, from that I found. <laughs> so this is like kind of an old doodle. This should be in the other sketchbook, but it's not. I had some tea, and I, I kind of covered up the page because I didn't really like it that much, and I don't really feel comfortable showing you guys some of the stuff on this page. Um, so this is like the same friend who bought me the tea, drew this. And I just think it's so cute. This is the cutest witch I've ever seen. I drew the witch on this side. And, um, oh my god. Um, here we have Ambrose. He's just dressed up as like a little vampire cloak kind of thing. And I just think it's cute. Uh, I drew him as an old man. And this is 13 year old Amore Valentine. I just wanted to, I don't know why I drew her as a 13 year old, but this is what she would look like when she was 13. This is just her in <laughs> a little witch outfit. And this is her um, slaying the day. She looks so cute. Um, here's Ambrose again. And Ambrose, he's just, I, I think the way I draw him here is so cute. And this is done on September 27th of 2022. And I was just doing some muscle practices. My friend wrote this. And I just think it's so cute. I love it. 
I love this page. This one's one of my favorite pages in here. Ah! Okay, so I drew this around the time when Splatoon 3 came out because I am a Splatoon lover. I've been obsessed with Splatoon ever since like the first game released. It's been so long. I just obviously had to do some Agent 3 doodles. And I was so excited to play Splatoon 3. My, my other friend bought it for me. And thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate that. It was a wonderful birthday present. Um, so I was just like here. Um, just ignore this. This is my old um, username on YouTube. I changed it. So here's some Agent 3. Um, I did some, I did some like hand studies in um, ELA in class, and I also have some song recommendations that I wrote down. What? Because that's the music I was listening to. I felt like in a girl in red mood, so. I just did this. I'm pretty sure I did this in like October or something. I don't know, which is kind of ironic because that's the thing. We fell in love in October, Girl in Red. And I was also listening to Bad Idea, which is one of my favorite Girl in Red songs. But um, if you know, if you if you have an iPhone and like the new feature, basically when you're listening to music, it shows you the album cover. So like the next song came up and I was curious on what song it was while I was drawing and it was Bad Idea. So if you know what the um, the album cover for the song looks like <laughs> and it just appears all over on your phone screen in class in <laughs> high school, uh, I just immediately closed my phone and just turned it around because I was like, oh shit, no, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want the teacher to think I'm doing anything wrong. So I just closed it immediately. But I love that song so much. Oh, this is in November. Okay, so this is um Roland. He's my D and D OC. He's a half elf and he's a bard. And he, not only that, he has insanely high charisma levels, where I can basically flirt with anyone. Like I don't even have to fight anyone. I just flirt with them. I get what I want, and I love it. It's so much fun when you're playing D and D and you just do that. Our D and D game that I do with my friends is just—it's an absolutely like, a shit post. I cannot take it seriously. And I actually have a little journal that I wrote down all of our D&D &D entrance, like all the stuff that we did. Because I kind of forgot because it's been about a year since we did D&D. But I just felt like drawing Roland because I found old art of him. This is based off a real event. It was like literally really cold. It was 46 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And I was at school because I'm in marching band. So I was at school to about um, nine, 8 or 9 p.m. And I was wearing a coat and gloves because like we didn't have to use our instrument because I'm a woodwind player and you can't wear gloves while you're playing. But we were practicing without our instruments because it was too cold for us to play. And I saw one of my friends and he was there just wearing shorts, full on shorts, like like wearing some sort of shirt you would see at the beach and just shorts. And I'm wondering and I'm wearing a cold coat and a hat and gloves. And I'm just wondering, how the hell are you not cold? How are you not freezing your butt off? Um, here's some more algebra doodles that I did in class. So this was, that was based off a real story. <laughs> and I like how you can see a little graph in the background. And here's some, something I ordered from Dun Dunkin' Donuts. And here's some fortune cookies that I like saving. Like I said, you have some more, um, I was listening, basically just some doodles based on some songs, girl in red songs. And I just drew an old guy again, because I like drawing old guys. And here's my cat. And um, this is basically a photo of the closet that I'm filming in currently, because I film in my closet <laughs> for videos. Um, here's my Roblox avatar. I look so cute. I'm like a little like witch wizard person with like short hair. And I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. So, um, I don't know. If I ever decide to try streaming, I would love to stream Roblox. That would be fun. Like, to be able to play with um, my viewers. <laughs> ah! Um, I drew my cat and my cat again. But these are just some, like, Pinterest cats. And they're so cute. I love cats. Like, I have three cats currently. And I'm I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with them. They're, they're like my little babies. Um, I think this is Ambrose's dad. I just wanted to dry, draw like more realistic people But I I feel like when it when I first finished it I wasn't really that satisfied with it and I was like, okay I'm gonna just color the background just to make it look better But I feel like now looking at it. It's actually pretty good Like at the time I didn't like it. This was done on December 23 of 2022 So it's about like a year ago Um, here's some magazine cutouts from like an Ulta magazine 
because I get those. And I just, you can open this. Help, I'm trying so hard, but I can't help but feel bored with my art. Plus, I can't draw because of art block. Yeah, this took me forever to finish. I took forever on the sketchbook because I just didn't feel motivated to finish it. I was so busy at the time. But in December, I'm pretty sure marching band would have already been over. So, um, here's Bill Sconehite in his ceremonial, uh, ceremonial robes. I can't speak. I got some stickers. Um, I just, I drew a ghost, cosplaying a ghost. And this is what the ghost looked like. And the ghost kind of looks like a snake. I'm gonna be honest. This is my true form, even scarier, and has no eyes. And it's just, I just thought it was cute. Like, to see like, an actual ghost cosplaying a ghost, like with a little sheet all over it. I think that's amazing. I love the way I draw hands in this um, era. Let me just move the tripod real quick. This is, I didn't finish this because, like I said, this paper isn't really meant for watercolor and it just ended up just almost destroying the paper. So I was like, okay, I can't finish this. My paper is getting ruined. And it's just really fraying right now. December 28th of 2022. So I never end up finishing this. It's just partial, partially finished, unfortunately. But I really, I, I think it's cute. But it kind of reminds me of a Sewell's overblot scene from Twist. <laughs> it it, it kind of does. I'm gonna skip through that. Um, Here's Fern. He's one of my OCs. He's like a fox spirit that lives in the forest. And here's another drawing of Fern again. Like, the other pages has, um, like, older designs of Fern, because I was, like, my friend challenged me to draw a fox boy. And it just came out, it, it did not look good. It looked like someone from Cats, so I don't really want to show it. This is Fern and one of my friends, Fursona. Because, oh, why not? Fern's basically a furry, so. But I just think Fern has such a cute design. Um, my friend asked me to draw like a Pokemon fan design for them, so I did. This is Solar Cat. Um, here's some watercolor doodles. I did this with a pen, I just colored it in with watercolor. Um, here's Fern again. I would draw him all the time in chemistry, and I, I don't know, I just I love doing that. I have this is some rice flavored tea, it's really good, delicious. I, I, I for like the rice, um, the rice green tea from this brand is absolutely uh, delicious and I drew some cats. And these were some thumbnails for Visual Arts 1 for one of our um, pre-tests, but I didn't really like the way it came out. Um, here's some more doodles that I cut out and put in the page. I found some old music from freshman year that I didn't like, so I just put it in here. Um, this was actually done on my report card and I just cut it out. Wow, doing great! So... This is from February 18th, 2023. I have no idea where I was going with it. I was just obsessed with drawing people with like these kind of hats. Cause I actually, I used to have one of these hats, but I lost it. I lost it at school. And people know that I would wear those like all the time during the winter. And now I don't have it anymore. It just makes me sad that I lost my favorite like parka hat. Um, I did this in algebra. This is just uh, like, it's just a complete, like just a joke. This is during like the Mordechai meme and I just thought it was the funniest thing ever and I forgot what Twilight Sparkle looked like because I've never seen um, My Little Pony. I've never watched it in my life, nor have I ever watched um, regular show. So <laughs> I just think that's kind of funny. Um, here's some ear and nose studies that I did. I remember I just felt really unmotivated with my art and I was like, no, I have to continue go going. So I did a bunch of studies to help me get back in. And so here's um, this cat that I tried to paint. I love the colors. I love the way the colors came out, but I feel like the form isn't really there. I want to like, I'm taking a painting course this year. So hopefully I can get better at painting and understand form better. I feel like I can understand the colors though pretty well. Um, this is based off a selfie of me. I had like, my hair is like was curlier in the photo. But I had like, my hair is finally growing out and I had bangs and it was really curly and I was wearing my little red coat and skirt that day. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm wearing the same exact shirt right now as I did in that um, photo that I originally took. So, it's me and I did this on February 17th of 2023. Ah! My favorite page! Um, this is Ambrose. I just redid him. This is what he looks like more. 
and obviously you have some um, coffee orders. Failure is the chance to do better next time. That's just a fortune cookie that I have. Um, this is not a Mona. This is not the way I draw her. But I, I don't know. I just drew a random person and then I drew him next to, next to her and I was like, huh, that kind of looks like a Mona Valentine. And it gave me the idea to draw her with short hair. And so I now have a bunch of designs with her with short hair. This is Ambrose. Ambrose is not that tall, but he looks tall in the photo. I love his design. He looks so cute. And by the way, he does have like ginger hair and just kind of like an earthy color scheme. And he's like, like he, he loves plants. He's a plant person and he's like plant dad. And I love that for him. Um, this is Serial. He's one of my OCs in the same like world as Arcelia. He's like the son of, um, of Asriel, which is basically like the god of death. So I was like, I never really had a story idea with him, but I just like drawing him. I did a bunch of figure studies with him. Another genderless being. Um, this is what it looks like underneath, but I kind of covered it up because I didn't really like him. I tried experimenting with some poetry. And so if you want to read that, you can. I'm not reading it. Um, better cautious at first than tears afterwards. I, I love these doodles with cereal. They're my favorite. I, I love, like, these are my one of my favorite doodles in the whole page. Look at it. Look at the floaty hair. Like, I love how he's floating. And this is the, I've never drawn feet this way before. And it looks so cute. Like, I've always struggled at drawing feet, but this is, like, my favorite way to do it. And also, I did all I did these doodles while either I was in art class or I was watching Blue Period. So it was like so much fun to do. This is probably one of my favorites. And I did this on March 21st. Okay, so um, I have some more doodles of Fern. This is like an old doodle I did in psychology. I just stuck it in this page. And so... I think this is like someone from Pinterest and I thought the photo looked really cool and I wanted to draw it. And I have no idea why there's tentacles everywhere. Cause I just, I don't know. I wanted to do something like more dark, I guess. And sometimes when I draw, it's kind of helping me come up with backstories, but I realized I don't really want him to be a tentacle person. That's kind of weird. So I, I didn't really want that for him. So yeah. Oh, um, these, oh, this is the ticket that I got for the Atlanta Symphony Orchestra. So I decided that I went this year as I did last year and it was really, it was absolutely amazing. Oh my God. There was an opera singer there and her voice was absolutely magnificent. Like I've never been to an opera before and I've never seen an opera singer perform live with the orchestra, but that was one of the best shows I've ever been to. One of the best concerts I've ever been. I, I was like absolutely like impressed. I was like, damn, okay. It was really fun. I loved going there. Um, here's a Pinterest person that I tried doing like more realistic drawings here. But it didn't really, like I really like this one. This one came out absolutely amazing. And here's another fortune cookie. This was on graduation there, day for um, my friends who were seniors this year. Obviously it's already, um, it's summer break, so <laughs> no more school. <laughs> But my, but some of my friends were graduating and I had to show up because I had to perform for the graduation ceremony. We played Pomp and Circumstance for about 20 minutes straight. That was not fun. I remember playing a 10 minute piece for our concert and that was not fun. But the play for 20 minutes was even worse. I don't know how the symphony orchestra does it to play for two hours. So we were just playing Pomp and Circumstance. <laughs> And, he, and I did this in art class. I was just drawing some more bodies. And for some, this is like has Mod Podge on it and it just kind of got ruined. So I couldn't draw on that page, unfortunately. But graduation was really fun. I stayed at school till about um, 11.30 at night. And it was, I'm pretty sure this was a Wednesday. And the next day I had um, final exams for chemistry. So I, ha I was really sleep deprived. Um, here's Jasper from Steven Universe. I, 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 I drew her in psychology. I thought was, I just wanted to draw her because I just could not stop thinking about her and what happened to her in Steven Universe Future. I feel like in, in Steven Universe Future, she just became my favorite character and I just absolutely love that. Um, this was based off a meme 
post I saw and I f***ed and I showed it to my friend. It was about these sunglasses where they have certain colors and they have certain powers associated with it. And I showed it to my friend and she was like, um, well, why don't you just wear all of them? I would wear all of them. And so I just did this little doodle of just wearing all the glasses. <laughs> um, oh, this is my favorite page. This is literally my favorite page. It's Jasper. It's just all of it Jasper. This was done in April 24th to 26th. Look at this. Look at this. Look Look at these muscles. Look at her. It's, it's beautiful. Um, I did this while my friend did this. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> She was teaching me how to draw muscles and I did it on this side while she did it right here and then I mentioned in class in homeroom I was like why does that kind of look like big man so she just starts drawing over and we just wrote it just wrote big man from Splatoon 3 <laughs> it kind of looks like him the muscles that we were working on together um here's Jasper I love the way I did muscles and I feel like the key to getting better is just using references I use references all the time this was no reference this was with reference there's a big difference just saying. Oh, I love this page. This is Jasper with her little helmet and some more of Jasper. And you can literally see the book falling apart. I had to glue this back together because the spine came off like I did with the last one. So, um, short hair Jasper. I only stand down for my diamond. Yes, I love short hair Jasper. Here's Pearl. I feel like here, I didn't really draw her the way, like, I, I feel like it doesn't really look that much like her, but whatever. I, I, I love short hair Jasper, especially since she has, like, a little bit of the corruption on her. I, I don't know. Something about it is just, damn, okay. Um, here's some doodles that I cut out from chemistry, and you see a bunch of faces and eyes. And these were, um, to my, to my classmates in a band. I just drew them because why not? Um, I hope you guys are not watching this video. <laughs> but um, um, we have a um, Pinterest girl on the beach. And here's a little doodle I did in class. This was done in art class. It was supposed to be for the... I just cut it out and put it in here. But this was supposed to be like a... Um, like. Oh my god, I forgot the name. Anyways, it's supposed to be like a Zentangle, that's what it's called, like Zentangle pattern, you're supposed to do that. Um, here's a sun person and a little ghost hand, because I love drawing ghost hands. Um, here's a Morda Valentine again, just kind of chilling. And um, I did this with watercolor and a pen, I like how it came out. However, I feel like um, she looks a little weird in the window, I have no idea what's going on with her nose, but whatever <laughs> um here's another um Atlanta symphony orchestra ticket that i have the first ticket is mine this one's not mine i found it on the floor and i just took it <laughs> so i just wanted to keep it so here's like a bunch of um more zentangle stuff i was doing and i want to do some light practice and here's a bunch of doodles that i did in chemistry for this year I love drawing girls going to the beach. I love drawing girls in bathing suits. Um, here's some gnomes that I drew, because I think they're cute. Pretty sure probably Ambrose. I don't know who that is. Ambrose again, and just some random doodles. And there's so many teas, like that English breakfast. Um, this is like black tea. I'm pretty sure this is another, wait, no, it's not English breakfast. I have no idea. Oh, it's, it's... yeah, I have no idea. This is um like cinnamon tea. And this is when I officially finished my sketchbook on 2023 of May, uh, May 28th, 2023. So, yeah. This is basically the end. I just have, um, I got this as a, as a gift from a friend for my birthday. They gave me, um, one of my friends, she gave me money in, the, in a red envelope and I had never received one of those before. And I thought the art was so pretty and I just could not throw it away. I had to keep it. I just think it looks so pretty. So I just kept it in my sketchbook. And so I have so much artwork in here. Like just, a, this is just a bunch of stuff that my friends gave me. So I'm not going to show that because it's more personal. Um, I have some fan art of Ambrose that one of my friends gave me. Thank you so much. I, I think it's so cute. 
I, I've always wanted to make a, co a comic with like Ambrose on a motor, but I never did. I'm pretty sure this is some concept art for a motor Valentine that I did on May 12th of 2023. So this is just her. She's like from a cold country and, and Arcelia is like a country that's just, it's a tropical, not really tropical, but it's an island nation just surrounded by water. And, it's just, and there's beaches and it's really nice, but the water is cold because they have winter there. So kind of like the UK, I guess, kind of, except the architecture is like different. Um, here's the same art of Ambrose, just the printer decided to, to fuck it up, so yeah, that happened. Um, I found a map. Oh, this is the map of the world. For some reason, this- I just noticed this, like, recently. And I noticed that this just looks like the United States connected to Africa. That was not intentional when I was making my map. But this is Arcelia. And then here's like where um, Amore is from. I have no name for the country yet. So, the Gulf of Siliria. And I just have not figured out the names for everything else. But I did this in watercolor and I really like the way it came out. However, <laughs> um, I might redo the map because I feel like Arcelia is way too big on the map. Because it's supposed to be a small island country, but it looks really big. Um, I don't really have much left. Wait, what is this? Oh, never mind. Uh, yep. So basically, this is the end of my sketchbook tour. So, yeah. Bye bye.